This game contains flashing light and ice stream, as well as disturbing major in themes, mild language, and drug use. Press it continue. Oh, interesting. Hello, they're here, and we are back with Nikos Room. Chapter 2. You might remember this game in the same title, of course. <laughs> Chapter 1 that I played before, which you could check on the card above, and it tells the story of Nikos. A person who's trapped in a room for how long? Who knows? But I've been able to get out recently through some dreams. And now, we are back with chapter 2 of the game. Interesting. So, uh, this has come out. All the characters are ev and events are fictional, and the resemblance to reality is pure coincidental. In interesting. Uh, where was I? Uh, I forget what to say. Oh yeah, this game has been out. The uh, chapter has been out for a few months. Uh, Excelism, okay. But uh, yeah, I make a stream. I forget to not. I forget. I missed the chance to cover it immediately because I was kind of sick then. <laughs> but now I'm better. Options. Okay, obviously, I'll wish dash on. Why not? Begin. So it's the classic clock thing. Contents. Chapter 1, Chapter 2 Crude in animated cartoons I wonder... Play like Chapter 2, yes. I wonder do I have still have my save? I, I don't think I still have my save from Chapter 1 because it's an entirely different page of download which is interesting. I'm not sure why it doesn't just get uploaded in one chapter if not for... if like there's... we can access Chapter 1. You? You finally come back, strange guy. Hello. I waited patiently for this moment. I knew you would one day return to me. I was scared, scared that you might have forgotten about me. But you didn't, and neither did I. It's been so long. I've missed you so much. It's okay. Nothing will come between us again. I'll never leave you side. I'll protect you from this dangerous world just like I promised so long ago. Just like I promised. But now, can we just hang out like we used to? It's been such a long time I want to hear all of your stories. Let's go down memory line together, alright? Hello, Lucy. Interesting. Ah, how have you been? Interesting. A very familiar face, apparently. Friendly, hmm. I haven't heard from you in a gazillion years. Uh huh? Hey, tell me something, anything you like. I'm sure you have many great stories to tell. Come on, I don't care what it is, I just want to hear you talk. Um, um I guess like the needles in front of me squeaking and vibrating unnaturally. I look at him, trying to untangle the feelings of horror, fear, and confusion. He looked just slightly older than me, but he acts like a toddler. Hearing such childish words in a deep, slightly raspy voice disturbs me greatly. Who is... and why is he... No, no, wait, you don't have to. Don't say anything. Ah, no, 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 I didn't mean to say that. I mean, I just... I just wanna... Ah! Ah! He lunged forward and... Oh! I cannot... Pulls me into a tight embrace, crushing my every bone, my legs are amputated. I hear him he breathe stiffly and loudly. The world revolves, my eyes gush out. Oh, there's an image in background. Gah! Chapter 2, Crude Inanimate Object. Cartoons. I'm pretty sure it was objects, was it cartoons? Huh. Oh! Christ of oh Christ, I just said better the guy. And I'm the only one down. Rabbi Manning soon follows as the excruciating pain fills my head. I curl in the ball, holding my head between my arms. Hey, are you okay? Is something wrong? Uh, ah. No, 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 no. Oh no, what did I eat? Huh? What's happening? My body's intact. And it's kneeling, searching for something. Hey, are you alright? Uh, say something, please. It touches the ground frantically, making long, strange noises. 
He's looking for me. I'm the one who hurt him, and yet... If I didn't know any better, I even said that he's concerned. <laughs> I'm fine with the look in the eyes. The words come out of sore, but as I say them, the pain fades away. He let a sigh and a smile turn giggle. That's... Uh, that's great, I'm so glad. I don't get it. You... You're acting weird. Do you not recognize me? What's wrong? Do I not look the same anymore? Is there something wrong with my face? He touches his face, forcefully pulling his skin in all sorts of directions. It looks painful. Is it better now? Is it better now? Is it better now? How does my face look to you? What's wrong? Say something. So then, am I not the boy anymore? Who am I then? What happened to us that day? Mm hmm. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. We died! Oh, okay. And you can make a life for me? I'm so happy, so, 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 so happy. Come on, let's not waste any more time. It reaches a hand out slightly fr off from my direction. I cringe away. What the hell's wrong with him? I slap his hand away, but he grabs my arm and pulls me up in swift move. What? He keeps his distance now, giving me a docile, smi docile smile. Isn't it exciting? I feel like I can be whoever I want now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know your name, but you don't know mine, right? So then choose one. Oh, what? You are very dear to me, Lucy, so I'll let you call me anything you like. Ah, uh, I am. So how old do you like to call me? Jacob. How about Poopy Head? Butt Head. But okay, Jacob sounds good. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like this name fits him very well. Jacob, is that fine with you? What if I name you Nico? Probably nothing, huh? I'm just curious. What if... It's Nico. Um, actually, I'd rather not use that name. Come on, there's so many cool names we've seen in the books we read. We've got better than that. I love that. Mm hmm. So, Jacob does not work. How about Lucy? Is there any other name that we remember from back then? But isn't it just your name? We can have the same name, silly. It gets confusing. Come on, be more creative. So, just Jacob, huh? Yes, then it's settled. You can call me Jacob from now on. Look at us, learning about each other. I'm so happy. Jacob stops talking, sitting motionless in front of me. The place feels much more somber when he keeps his mouth shut. Where the hell am I anyways? I know who the hell is this. Memories are fading fast, but I think I've lost consciousness. Am I in another nightmare? Compared to previous places, I really don't see much. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should look around. Oh, th there's the boo. Jump? No? Okay then. A small bench. A book. Shall I read something in it? Yes. Interesting. Nothing, huh? Nothing beyond the horizon. It's not disturbing the steel. Should I poke his arm? Yes. Hey, hey. Want to do something? Uh. Aren't you bored? I surely am, and I don't want to spend my time with a good friend being bored. Maybe you can. 
Uh huh. We can uh. Jacob's smile fades as soon as it appears. For tens of seconds, he said slow, looking at the grass below us. Yes. Forget it. Okay. We don't need to do something to do. We have each other. Yes. I want to enjoy your presence more. I want nothing more than to hear you. Let's talk. Let's catch up with your life. Let's learn more about this brand new Jacob. Uh, want to sit more comfortably? We can just lie down. It's really soft. It'll be amazing. It'll be perfect. Please, 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 please. I, I guess. Yay! Come on, don't tire yourself any longer. Lay down. Even if his eyes closed, he started me until I start laying down. Oh, that's terrifying. It's not something I said to do, but it's not like I have anything better to do, it seems. The grass is soft. Disturbingly so. A dissonance from what I see to what I feel makes me f makes for an uncomfortable laying. Like a soft and fuzzy bedsheet covering a bed of concrete. After firmly laying down, Jacob steps close to my feet, positioning himself in a weird manner. He kneels and gets on both his hands and knees, inspecting the ground once again. A strange course of actions that lasts for minutes. Yes, you are a strange being. <laughs> I, I guess. After a while, he properly lays down, rolling slightly to my direction. I have to move my arm away from his weight. Mm -hmm. So how is it? Are you sitting comfortably? E yeah? Great. I want you to be as comfortable as possible. So, what's up? Tell me about something. I'm gl I will gladly listen. Uh, yes, and... and Enthusiast, un enthusiastic, oh, he's right. It's been such a long time since someone wanted to listen to me. Now I don't want to talk with some strange guys. I shield them. Oh, I mean, you don't have to do it if you don't wanna. It's just... I'm sure you've noticed, but there isn't much to do in this place. I like to just lay down and... Go touch some grass? And slowly his weak smile goes again. This place... Lucy, how does it look? Eh? Look around, what do you see? Tell me, tell me. Um, well... Oh, what? What is it? Did I... Not much. I guess I didn't let the sinner sing in yet. This place looks even weirder now that I really look at it. Yes, I'm sure of that. Would you be more specific? Uh, right. What's with this perspective? I try my best to give an accurate description. I'm not very good at describing things, but it doesn't seem, seems to question anything I say. It's like the horizon, like the, the full darkness horizon is uh, something that Lucy can see, that would be cool. I started a nice date, but I think I did a comprehensive, comprehensive enough job. I neglected to mention the huge black boxes on the sides. It is! That's cool! I love that, I love the world building here. What's the deal with that anyways? But her... Uh, what, 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 I'm with my body slightly to the left, indicating the black space on the side. He looks at me dumbfounded, his eyes still remaining closed. Maybe if you open your damn eyes, I wouldn't have to describe things that are right in front of you, God damn it! <laughs> the, the black, uh, boxes? What black boxes? What, what do you mean? Is there something wrong with this place? Eh? E yeah, you, for example. For a moment, his voice grew bitter and his face contorted, but it was quickly fixed with his usual smile. No, 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 no. I knew it. I knew it. I was sure they would fucking. Let's see, I have a question for you. Have you met someone wearing a white rabbit mask? And. 
Naiko? We literally tried to change your name to Naiko, so yeah. Before I can ever comprehend this question, I blur out a name that barely feels familiar. So they still use that name. I'm surprised, really. Whatever, listen to me. Whatever you do, you must get away from them. Do not listen to them, not even a word. Do not do anything they will tell they tell you to. They want to kill you. I know them all too well. Tell me, have you seen any other humans around? No. No? They hate us or entire kind. Those who end up in their grass don't come back alive. I know this because I was their victim. But I escaped and ended up here. Do you want to end up in their grass, Lucy? Do you want to die? I... I... And whatever lie did they tell you? That I can help you get out of here. What a joke. Don't believe that bullshit. They have no interest in letting you out now that you're inside. But don't worry, because there's something that can really help you. Me. I got a phone call, BRB. Okay, I'm back, let's gonna keep playing the game, shall we? I'll get it out here just fine. All you have to do is to keep coming back to me. But, but that's... Say, what did you even do to get here? I did. I... I think I... I tried to think about it, but I get overwhelmed by headache each time I get close to it. I'm until now trying to remember something only made my head hazy. Why does it hurt now? Well, whatever it was, you just have to keep doing it to get here, and everything will work out fine and dandy. What'd you say? I can be your very own knight in shining armor, like in the stars we used to read. My, my very own... Eh, alright. Please be my knight in shining armor. Eh, I don't trust you. Oh, why not? It'll be fine and you'll have a reason to come back. Together we'll make the best team ever. Oh, oh, we should have a name for this operation. You know, like in the books or movies. How does... The screw and will get our base or, or star projects down to you. Right, it may be a bit too long. I... I like it. Huh? Then sure, yeah, let's call it that. Screw and Echo. Heh. <laughs> His words are a jumbled mess, he speaks of names I don't seem to recognize. But even so, I don't feel creeped out. I feel it. The aftertaste of a feeling I haven't felt in a long time. A taste so distant yet so distinct and familiar. I can't believe I'm allowing myself to feel it. Especially with the guy of all things. Guys are cool and untrustworthy. Why is it turning? But with him, I don't feel any fear. His voice still is comforting, even with the strange thing he says. But a wiser me wonders. Is this place what it seems? Are his words inside? I want to find the missing thread that he hides so well. I want to figure out what is so wrong with him. But right now I can bring myself to worry. For the first time in a while, I feel at peace. And before I knew it, it was gone. Fascinating. Yep. Huh, that's new. Good day, child of the dance. How was your ass? Uh, ow! Unbearable pain rushes to my head at a sudden motion. All of them is simplified to a painful yelling. I see, the effects of your not so wise decision have taken a toll on you. Great. I remember what I did. I remember dropping on the floor and now I'm on the bed. I pick you up from the cold floor and I wouldn't be even be able to get a thank you. As of now, I should bear you for not listening to my warning, but I suppose this agony will suffice. Well, I are, uh, uh, why am I here? You have, you have let me in, but of course. Although the intake was exaggerated, taking the pills allowed me to return to this room. 
<laughs> it has a one-time requirement as well, so now I may appear at will. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, with that explained, there's some concerning matters to be discussed. You met someone, haven't you? Ah. It hurts. Why do you think I will didn't figure it out? You are still in my room, and, uh, and I am aware of everything that is in my room. But regardless, I am here to advise you once again. Maybe this time you'll learn to listen to warnings. Do not listen to him. Huh? I can assure you, your precious Jacob is not a, as kind as he may look. Curious name choice, my ad. And all this petty things he said about me, he's a fool for telling such lies, and you are a bigger fool for believing him. Don't let this is human image trick you so easily. His words are nonsense, his actions are insincere. The story he's trying to tell is inaccurate and lacking in detail. For instance, were you aware that he's incapable of sight? Oh. I guess I think he's saying some things, yes. Ah, interesting. Although that way, the, the way that they said it was a bit too casual. I'm sure Jacob didn't tell you that, did he? I, I don't think he needs to, did he? What a strange little deal to not mention. Who knows what other things he forgot. Maybe, how does he plan to get you out of here? I'd love to hear about this mirific plan of his. But on the flip side, we do have a plan. So why won't you focus on that instead? Unfortunately, it isn't in my power pr to prohibit you from going down the past lanes. All I can do is warn you whether you listen or not. Following his lead will be painful and in vain. I'm sure that once you comprehend your options, you will make the wiser choice. Think about it. It is you that will be affected after all. And maybe from now on you will respect your dust such remember why I gave the pills to you in the first place. It is essential to our task, so then we see that from now on, alright? Uh-huh. I don't like the way they speak of that. As if it was just a small sleep -up. It is stupid. It is stupid and I regret it. The more they speak of it, the more I feel like. Now, no, there's nothing you can do regarding your opinion and flag upon yourself. Perhaps you'll consider not doing your routine for today. N no, I can't. I, I... Hum, it is quite curious to me why you are so fixed on this routine, or why you have in the first place. Will boredom really be the motive? Oh, but with the amount of peculiar children of the dust I met, I can be bothered to question it either. So... Very well, I'll allow you to do your routine then. All I'm asking is that you take the intended dosage of pills before you go to sleep. I'll try to get up now. Make the wiser choice. Make us disappear. And as, and as I raise my head, they are, no, they are nowhere to be found. Everything is a mess in my head, I can even begin to entangle all these knots. I want to take my mind off everything. I'll start doing my routine. And the classic song back. Oh, but I'll be outside to take them at the end of my routine. A surprisingly cozy bed, I can go to sleep yet, as I have some things to do. A clock with no hands, a ticking noise is emitting from the inside of it. Shall I stare at it? Yes. I blink and blink again and again. Focusing on the clock proves to be a challenge. I rub my eyes, feeling the cross in the corners. It feels like my head is crushed under pressure, and any slight movement could lead me to throwing up. I lose my balance just for a, mo for a moment, and for a few seconds my vision is filled with colors of all sorts. Ever since I've woken up, I've been feeling anything but fine. I regret it. It feels just as bad every time I'll do it. Why am I like this? It's out of my hands this time, I try to assure myself once again. The recollection itself makes my headache worse. I don't want to think about it anymore. And okay, there. Oh, you look tired. My one method of clearing my mind seems to fail me more and more. My reflection looks worse than ever. I think of anything there is. I let my mind drift to any place it's warm. There isn't much to imagine. Has it really been so long that I can come up with any scenery? I imagine every place I ever want to visit. I see the vain silhouettes of people I recall knowing. And finally, I see him. The scenery suddenly look, looks a lot more, lot more cinematic. Jacob. I remember feeling inclined to call him that. What is this name? Seems to match him so much. 
this whole, the whole encounter felt unreal. But I guess all encounters so far I have felt this way. He spoke to me with such... I don't know, but I, I, but I didn't think guys had it. It was nothing like the boy's mother told me about. This one was almost sweet. A weird sweetness, yes, he's surely a weirdo. Even so, by the end of our talk, his presence felt peaceful. I don't get that peace with Naiko, their presence makes me feel small and self-conscious, but with him, all the bad things go away. While I submerge myself in the memory, a scary question is building up. Both of them, Naiko and Jacob, they both say bad, bad things about each other. And I'm not very sure what to believe anymore. So then, who do I trust? The scary person or some guy that seems to know me? Uh, yeah, I'm so tired of everything. I had to deal with so much, but I can be bothered to do this. Not now. Everything is too complicated and I just can't do it. All I'm asking for is, for is an unfaithful day and a dreamless sleep. I'm not the one for this, I can make good decisions for myself. Choosing for myself kills me with, with dread. I don't want to deal this, with this anymore, I just want to... I turned my head to the left. The bottle on the drawer started vibrating. The sound is loud, the flower hits each other again and again. And as I approach, it stops and I realize. I don't want to be here anymore. Human foolishness is truly infinite. I take a stroll through this warm void. The distance is quite significant, but the time passes fluidly. Right now, I am unable to enjoy the silence. My peace has been ruined by this mistake. A mistake is thought time and time again. But this one is different. This mistake will ruin so much more than life. And yet, nothing I'm able to do can change it. No matter what, the outcome stays the same. And the carcass decays. But I refuse to ignore it. He'll not get his way, I'll make sure of that. What? He? My my, you came to visit me, Nico. I'm honored. Spare me the polyness, Jacob. You know I am here. The chain is the mirror is clear. He trembles and twitches, his mouth twisting on natural lady edge. What a revolting sight. You've heard about my brand new name. I love it. I'm so happy to hear it coming from you. You seem to be in a good mood today. It looks strange when you quit it. Well, how could I not be? I had a wonderful day and met a good friend of mine. I have no interest in how your day has been. You have once again proven yourself to be nothing more but a nuisance. Why, you're such a joy kill. Come on, can't you be a little more cheery from time to time? Cheery? With someone like you around, such feelings falter and vanish. And I know with the problems he insists on causing me, I feel much less inclined. I am shocked that Nico is actually confronting Jacob here. Have you forgotten the watchful eyes I have on you? You are a waste and whatever you're trying to do will fail. Uh-huh. Yeah? Jeez, you always just know how to ruin the mood. Hoo <laughs> hoo, there's your usual expression. Because I feel cheery seeing it. Go fuck yourself. Oh, this foul language of yours. How obscene, you must wash your mouth with a thousand soaps. Shut up, if you all do- If all you do is annoy me, I'll suggest you just leave. My mind, there's no point in trying to communicate when you're like this. Very well. Let us cut to the chase, shall we? Timmy, will you be kind? With a small cute nod, he lunged forward and- Gah. you Oh. Be quiet, everything you say will be discarded anyways. I want you to listen to me, Jacob, and I want you to listen well. I don't understand your intentions. You might have a plan or be driven by human depravity or might as well be recklessness. But whatever it is, my suggestion is that you drop it. Because I won't let a being like you interfere with something of this magnitude. Because you cannot even fathom that you what you will cause, and that's exactly why you try to ruin my plans at every step. 
Yeah. I figured it out a long time ago. Something like you doesn't have the intelligence to understand anything, only ruled by a pointless instinct. And to think that I'll let you just act at will is foolish of you. I've granted you too much freedom for you to have such doubts. Perhaps you have forgotten your position in my room. Allow me to remind you. That's cool. You are a foul creature. A small crawler disrupting the organism. Feed on the tissue and bite from the organs. Your presence is minimal and irrelevant. You are still here because you are still of use. But once that runs out, you won't be missed, I assure you. I wish... There's actually a... I think there's a plugin in RPG Maker that allows you to hide dialog box. Uh, that would be amazing if we can do that. Like, you know, hiding dialog box. For everything I've done for you, you should be praising him every time you wake up. It is with my Miss Derek Kindness that you stand right here right now. And now you have the faintest of will to interfere with my work. That I simply cannot allow. So for your own sake, do not interact with her ever again. Or else you will find the outcome not very pleasant of for you. Perhaps you really desire to go back there after all. Kuh. No, 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 no. Yes, that, that's what I thought myself. So then. Kimila sent him out of his grasp. He falls to the ground coughing and gasping violently, covering his neck with his hands. Who is this dweller trying to impress? I see right through, th through this very act. Make sure that another warning will not be needed. Next time, I will not be as kind. Interesting. I'll clock with the hands. I've already started it today. Yeah, you show. Sure. Ding, ding. Oh, there's a sign of two. That's interesting. A draw where there's some small water bottle inside. On it are two flowers submerged in a small bottle. I, I don't remember that. Looking at that feels nice. A wardrobe. There are a couple of coat hangers, but that's about it. Oh, wait. Ugh. Why am I feeling so tired suddenly? Oh my god. Uh, be right back. I'm, try I'm gonna try to not untire myself. What the hell is happening? Okay, I think I'm fully awake now. God, that was weird, but okay. Maybe because I was taking the drugs there. <laughs> Water, there's a couple of coat hangers, but that's about it. A bookshelf containing books of dubious quality. I've currently read 34 books. Yes, should you read books of the day? Hmm, I wonder what book I should read today. I don't know. We have wrote... Is there any new books? Where are you? Are you new? Last touch, sure it's good, yes. I sit on the cold floor and lay my back on the pitch black wall. I open the book to the first page. I was never a sentimental one. Lust was never followed by any feeling. It is brushed off, replaced by the experience that follows. Things are temporary, people are temporary. This idea permanent in my mind for as long as I can remember. The present passed by me between my fingers, between each strand of my eyelashes. I watch it pass, but I don't chase after it. The same way I haven't chased after the past, and neither do I like for the do, look, do I look for a future. In this world of static figures, I am a wanderer. I was born with no further purpose than to leave. In this world of my meaningless choices, I am the handprint on glass. I look without being looked at. In this world of chains and roots, I move freely in this man-built space. I walk and walk with no place to call home. Home is a label, not a location. When you free yourself of that label, every fiber of grass becomes your home. Interesting. <laughs> never sitting in a place, never resting, never staying. That sounds quite miserable, but also quite freeing, I guess. Wanderers never keep and never promise. It was a town with abandoned house and wind pan. 
as passing as the clouds, as sweet as the water. In this world of rest, I keep on going. I get up and put the book back on the shelf. Okay, so we have red those. Really? Great. Some thing for our brain, some food for folks. A TV, it doesn't seem to be working. A small tree? I never figured what this plane is supposed to be. The dirt looks moist. I guess I don't have to water it for today. This is weird. Oh, it's small. Please. I haven't checked the trash bin, so. Here we are. I've been preparing myself for this moment ever since I've gotten up. It is clear to me now, but I want to check the trash bin. If I want to leave this place in time soon, I have to face it once again. I made up my mind. I'll take two and go to sleep. My mind is clear now. I will not deprecate my condition any longer. If a change is to be made, I will take the record dose. If I want to get out, I will take the record dose. I have a bottle once again. I like inside it, but my, but my gaze drops me on the floor. Sorry, is someone entered my room? Uh, BRB, I'm gonna talk a bit. Okay, uh, the talk is done, let's continue. I'm better than that. I want to come to the arch in security. Even if my mind is over the following horrible scenarios. Even if I dread a triggering sight. Even as I want to run away to a sunny place of denial. I'll do it. I'll make the wiser choice. I'll... I want to check the... Sorry, my brain is not functioning. Two is the right choice, right? Three is the funky choice. You cannot see my head right now, but I'm like... Hmm? 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 Just throwing my head left to right. Like, hmm? Hmm? Two. I'm gonna go with... Nikos Road, I guess? It's done. And nothing is happening, absolutely nothing. I cautiously wait, maybe for a minute just to be safe. And yet nothing comes. No pain, no dizziness, and the room is not revolving around me. Perhaps I've done the right thing. Three, two, one. No? Okay then. So then she'll just help me while I sleep. I really don't want to say up more than necessary. I think you're going to like just fall down it or like there's a sudden shake on the screen. Guess I'll go to bed and find out for myself. Me 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 me. After lying in a comfortable position, I close my eyes. I'm scared and yet I can help but feel warm. It will all be okay. That's what I like to believe. I will get over this. It feels warm. Yay? Yippee? Hooray? Oh! Uh... And the moment I woke up, I started crying. And it hurt like something has been pulled away from me. I was grieving the death of something I used to have. I cried as if it would bring it back to me. But I don't remember what. No matter how hard I try, I couldn't. And people rushed into the room, people I could not recognize. They surrounded me, stretching me to no end. A layer of tears obscured my vision. For days they would enter the room again, speaking words I couldn't hear from my crying. I thought this would have been the rest of my life. Waking up only to cry until I fall asleep from exhaustion. What the hell is happening? But one day it stopped. I stopped. And the words become clearer. You've been crying for three days, they say. There's a lot of treatment needed, they say. But there's one thing I'm certain about. From the day I stopped. Uh, did I skip something? I never cried again. That's <laughs> interesting. Oh, okay, this is going more into a psychological horror. <laughs> More and more the psychological horror, I was about to say that. Uh, there's a trash can. That's an impossible barrier. 
Malt is spreading around it. Oh, okay. It's not invisible barrier. It's the malt. It, the malt is preventing us from getting close. I see how it is. I was sorry about sanitation. None of the limbs in the image looks right. I cannot even see it. What is it? A decaying couch. A hospital car. Uncomfortable. An efficient pump. One of the bags has been ripped. Gee, I hope I didn't miss anything in that room. I can go back in. The trash bag. There's a fall air emitting from it. I did miss something. A fire extinguisher located in the shadows. Hospital cart. That does not look like a hospital cart. The door is locked. Ah yes, the trope of horror games. Room 11. Uh, you know, moldy hospital room. room. What? 112? And that's 11. The door is locked. A soap dispenser, the looking inside looks anything but sanitary. I love it! I love the little details of everything. A dirty sink. Plants are growing inside of it. A trash can. Malt is spreading around it. Mmm. Yummy, delicious malt. Room 1. Huh. So, 1... 1, 1, 1 12, 11, and 1. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Same thing. Uh huh. The door is locked. Rue. <laughs> I think we are missing something here. Uh, okay. Rue. The plan of an unspecified floor with a road for evacuation. All the arrow leads the room level as fire. That's not good. Mm hmm, sanitation, fire extinguisher. R. The door's. Not. Mm hmm. That's. This is. Starting to get really. Room? Question mark? Really terrifying! An exit sign? The arrow makes no sense. Indeed. What is happening here? I love it. Let's go back a little bit. Maybe there's a door that opens. Who knows? I, we can never be not too careful about this. Interesting. Oh, be right back again. Apparently, there is food incoming. I need to take the food away from from the from outside for delivery. Okay, I'm back again. Hopefully, this is the last interruption. Oh yeah, this one. All the arrows lead to room level as not fire. Interesting. The door is locked. The smell coming from this room is horrid. Yeah. So that room is the only one smelly, huh? Peculiar. Yes. Yeah. No? Mm-hmm. All the doors locked. There's nothing important here? That's a book? Does someone in that book? Shall I write something in it? Yeah, you shall. Wait, how long have you been playing? Huh. <laughs> That's a quite a long, uh, quite a long uh, distance, as you can see. That I've been like gone for a, while, a bit. Wait! Oh no, Nico! An exit sign. There makes no sense. Let me interact with this. Hello. No. 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 Okay. Fine. Nico, are you going to do a chase scene with me now? There you are. Greetings, child of the dust. So bright. You must be finding the sinner familiar, and this one has been fully transplanted from your subconscious. Such a curious location to reside in, would you really call this place of hell? With all this filth, it is with great difficulty that I'm keeping my dress clean. That familiar? No, 
No, this is nothing like... Hmm, are you finding the scenery inaccurate? How curious, perhaps the pillar are having an unintended reaction to your psyche, which is quite the unusual phenomena. The workings of your affections mind are truly a wonder. Indeed, you must not be as boring as I thought. But it is not time for chatting, I am dealing with quite a disruption. Step closer, will ya? Oh no! No, that's bad. Their body maintains a pure white and black, making them look at their own this environment. Now that we are both standing, you can see they are around the same height as me. Having them next to me doesn't make them as imposing somehow. Well, increasing my height make me more imposing then. <laughs> Stop reading my mind! Egg! <laughs> but Alas, this is not the reason why I ask you to approach me. You see, after doing a minimal exploration, I intended to leave the building and gaze upon the rest of the scenery. However, this door is locked. Quite an inconvenience, don't you think? Oh. It was by assumption that I've sent him to look for a key. And as of now, he's yet to return. I was about to mention that. He hasn't returned yet. Of course, I do not worry for the worst to have happened. It's steamy after all. What I do fear is that he could have gotten lost or distracted. So I'm asking you to go and search him. Go and search him. And perhaps find a key for this door as well. Uh... You... You do care about him, huh? Huh huh, such a silly question. Indeed I do. But as lovely as he is to have, I'm afraid Timmy does not possess much intelligence. With this area state of decay, I find myself unwilling to explore more than necessary. So of course, I'll be sending you off instead. Okay. Do not return without him. Okay. You have my gratitude. You must treasure it, as I do not offer it to just anyone. No, no, go and look for him here. The door is indeed locked. Just need to check his pose. <laughs> the door is locked, shocker. Okay, I'm gonna save a bit. He may has not gone to that direction, I don't see a reason for you to return there. Once you hack upon my request and said, I want to save the fucking game, you little. It's off. Shit. Ah, yes, I haven't neglected to mention an important detail. He had a blot, huh? Huh? Have you seen any peculiar figures rolling around? In, yeah? There is, because I have. No, you haven't, huh? Of course, since this place is located in the deeper point of your subconscious, it is bound to be more dangerous. It's possible that they will try to attack you. Ha <laughs> ha! Do not fear. You mustn't forget that this is all a nightmare, nothing here could be real. Oh yeah, I forgot! Mentally debilitating realization aside, the, that this ultimately means that you're unable to die. Oh. Y yeah, that's a niece. However... However... The human body is quite fragile and most damage can be made from the inside. But that said, it is possible for you to get affected, even while sleeping soundly. When you get attacked in a nightmare, you'll find the experience greatly disturbing. As such, your insight will have a violent re reaction to the distress. I wonder if this is another branching path option. I fear that if the distress is repeated too much, you will suffer a heart attack. Huh? I studied the human condition for a long time. From my studies, I've concluded that human can take five, three. <laughs> I love that. Three attacks before the organism, some organism suffers to a fatal degree. I love the heart symbol. Use of health state. As such, I advise you not to be careless in your search. If you want to find all the fragments and leave my room, death is not recommended. It may be a sincere way to leave it, but I'm guessing you do not desire it. Although with your recent actions, I'm not certain anymore. So that is everything I mean to communicate to you. I believe I have made everything crystal clear. But, 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 what shall I... How will I protect myself? Um, has the mayor, the mayor's suggestion of death and the desire to fight back? <laughs> it's quite simple. You can. Uh, however, from what I have observed, the entities in this building are unable to truly pursue you. I believe the staying out of their sight will be beneficial as it has shown to be quite limited. 
Now you are free to go and not wish to wait any longer. Go now and take care in your search. Yeah, okay, can I say? Well, fr uh, frank you, fuck you, dude. Oh, that's the entity. No. No, that's horrible. Unlock a new complete chapter. Party signature, yes. Ah! What the hell? Well, that's actually... That's actually terrifying. I'm not really sure how to stay out of your sight. If you do that. I wonder her doesn't seem to be displaying anything. No, do not. Go away. I'm not comfortable reading that. Sub dispenser. Then we get inside with anything but sanitary. Okay, go away. You still move when I read stuff. Fucking hell. Oh, that is. That is bad. That is absolutely bad. No, the clock is not directable. Okay, go away. Oh no. No. Trash can malt. Decaying couch. Rope extending to the ceiling. There's something at the very top. A spark in the dark. Is this rope holding it suspended? Maybe I could cut it by something sharp. I don't even want to check. A spell card. There's a real tool on it covered in a dry, nasty red substance. Fire, maybe. The door's locked. Room. Smiley face. The door's locked. Why do I keep trying to enter in this room? Room. Question mark. Uh. Dark. Yeah, I can see that. Room tower 5. The door is locked. No room. Where are you going to move? Okay. Huh. The room labeled as water. Danger electrical room. There are slot. Deliberate stuff only. There are burn smack burn marks and not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is not safe at all. A failed hospital bed. An efficient pump, one of the back has been read. Creepy looking medical dummy. It's Joe is missing. I guess I could use the box cutter, but I suddenly touched the dummy with my finger, retracting it as fast as I can afterwards. Now moving. Maybe I should just. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, now that's terrifying. Oh, looking at this thing makes me shiver. That fake eyeball looks way too real. I'll make this quick. I'll grab the handle and quick time vent. 
This thing is really unflinching. I need to put more force into it. I grab it with my, both my hands this time, start moving around, get around to try and get it unstuck. Ah! Uh, what the? The thing just. Eh? This is good. What shall we do then? I need a dead box cutter and I don't see any way around it. I'll try again. If I have any skin, I'll just stop. That should work, right? I'll be fine, right? I don't know if you should be standing in front of it then. <laughs> Yes. I'm not doing anything. Yes. How long is that box cutter? No, 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 there's... Nothing going on here. Yes, okay. Obtain the box cutter. A creepy looking medical dummy is just missing. Ooh, no. Haha, <laughs> yes, totally not making me shit my pants. That's good, I like it. This might take a while. I touch the rope with the box cutter and... Oh! It's slash the rope with his. I think it will take a while. My hand starts trembling. I don't like the thug of handing something so sharp. Oh? Huh? Rest of the rope fell down. I don't see anything, maybe she'll look through it. The rope feels very soggy at touch. Ew, my hands are smeared with the same sensation. Eventually, I touch something more solid and pull it out. I found a key strangely covered in burn marks. I'll take it with me. Obtain a burn key. A cut rope. Yeah, I think I know where to use the burn key. Buy? Use the burn key, yes. Gee, I hope there's a place to save. A big electrical box, something. Some small electrical things with cables. An electrical box. I guess she has shield open it. All switches have been removed except one. How convenient. Shall I flip it? Yes. No way we are going to die because of electricity, right? Well, nothing happened. What did that do? Probably lights in the lower half of the area. Excuse me. Ooh, you can hear the sound if they're chasing you, huh? Oh, they can go that direction. That's horrible. The door is locked. The lab elaborate stuff only. Stuff only. Okay. Now we can test. Actually, maybe later I'll test it after this. The door is locked. Obtain the daisy. Another flower, huh? Timmy! Huh? Found you here, let's... <laughs> you look interesting. Hey! This are the sounds Timmy makes, right? So is this how he actually looks like? Yeah! He bends and starts getting gently bumping his head into my arm. It's a very liquid feeling as if I was hit with jelly. And yet the fiber of the substance vibrates a touch. What the? Stop that! What are you? He looks up at me staring at me almost dumbfounded. Come on to me, let's go back. I don't understand what you're saying. He stands there for a moment and looks down, his whole body lowering. He's acting like a dog, a really weird looking dog. 
I'm not sure how Noiko finds him cute. Uh, Doc? Come on, cute. Speaking of, I shall bring him to the end. I don't know what's up with him, right? Oh. <laughs> Hello? Um, I suddenly cut my hands a couple times. Timmy, come here, a boy? Yay. Timmy joins me in the search for the key. I shall bring him to Nika first. The chamber is shrouded in darkness. Is that the doll? Yeah, we can just like go into the other side of the direction, you know. Oh no. Holy shit, Amy. <laughs> What's with that expression? Goodbye. Are we. Do we. Do we need to be scared of those things now, or we can just like relax? Like, I'm not really sure. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I just want to find one of those, so we can check. Oh, they are all. and moving. Interesting. <laughs> not sure if that's a good thing or not. Ah, you have returned to me at last. It seems you found a fragment as well. You have done well, child of the dust. With a brief, this brief, brief acknowledgement, their focus shifts and turns to Timmy. Oh, Timmy, are you just aware just how much your departure torments me? They speak to him in a soft, slightly high-pitched tone with the gentle concern of a pet owner. That tone is all too familiar to me, but I'm not certain as to why. Be they treat you as a pet as well? Um, is that so? Well, that's great to hear. Come here. Timmy bends, bumming his head into them. In the spawn, Nico begins to caress his head with both their hands. Uh -huh, was the expression a fun one? Was the child of the dust kind to you? You were on your best behavior, were you? Yes, you were. Oh, yes, you were. Maybe with some other entities, this scene will be endearing, but the violent convulsing of Timmy's head makes for an uncomfortable sign. I look at it invasively as I see a different material dropping apart the inside of his head. Oh! A one stone of metal hitting the ground, I can take some more proper position, seemingly reminded of my presence. Ahem. And with one quick bow to the ground, I grab the key from the floor. Fortunately, Timmy has managed to find the required key. Aha! Uh -huh. So then... So then... What? Go ahead, will you? Huh? I thought you... you... Hmm? I don't understand your concern. We'll exit this building shortly after, but I advise you, you to go through the door first. Why? Oh my, I was expecting it to be obvious by now, but it's most likely to attempt to explain. As we exit through the door, we'll go through a small hallway and reach the outside of the building. By this point of the nightmare, you will reach a new point of interest. A what? A place of calm or, or terror, where the mental image just declares where the people are the most familiar. Do not exit if you act as if you don't recall. You have reached one of in the previous nightmare as well, haven't you? They make allusions to a moment I can fully recall. And yet I can spot a bright red in the image I have in my mind. Regardless, it's, it's nothing it is nothing worth worrying over. It is essential for your progression, so I advise you not to stray away from them. Will you make the honors? Save? Oh I can save, that's good no. Uh, unfortunately, I need. Unfortunately, I need to end the episode right here because it's been quite a while, like an hour. So I guess that's all for Nekka's Room Chapter Two. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, oh, this interesting. I love this chapter. Horror, the terrifying stuff in it. it the, the, the first, one, the chapter one is also scary, interestingly scary. The sec, the second one is also good. I, lo I, I love both of them. The way. Everything is designed and explored. It's interesting. But yes, that's all for now. I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in the next episode. Bye bye.
Wait a minute, what? Oh, hello there. I wasn't expecting someone to be actually here. I could swear I was the only one here, but I guess not. I thought not being alone is kind of comforting, actually. Oh, wait, no, I was supposed to scare you. I'm a godson stuff, you know. Okay, since you're here, I'll give it my all. Prepare to be spooked like never before. Boo. <laughs> How did I get you? No? Oh man, I gave it my all. It's fine, really. I'll see you some other time, and you definitely get spooked. Okay, now go. I'll get ready to scare you some other time. <laughs> what? Uh, uh y yes, uh, bye-bye. <laughs>